day three and just packing up. The meat is a biting like hell. But the view is amazing. It's a beautiful morning on the East Highland Way. I started half past six after a very good night's sleep. I slept nearly ten hours. And I'm amazed how my body regenerate after yesterday's 42 kilometers no issues so looking with optimism for the next two days and it means that I will do this walk in four not six as planned that's a nice surprise It will be a beautiful day today. Mm, so that's interesting. Commercial uh, advertisement. I hope they contribute to the trail. After a section of road walking, we entered the forest. We're now following this forest track. It's more, much more pleasant. And this is what I call nice forest walk. Look around. The power line, but otherwise, pretty nice. The hills over the forest, that's pretty cool. After a short climb, you got something like this. Nice. And this is the way I'll follow. And this is where I came from. Really nice postcard views. So this nice forest path changed to the track. And it's like walking on the road. Three point six kilometers to Lagan on a tarmac. I don't know if I shared this with you, but it's amazing because there's completely no wind during my trip. Really, if there is any, it's. Uh, short breeze and that's it so that's it's quite unusual and i'm supposed to be in highlands also now now it's a light breeze but every every time i count there was nothing so the conversation was substantial i'm just entering Klagan. Here is the village hall. So I thought that I'll have breakfast, but this Wednesday. Bad luck. Self catering. So this bit from Lagan is no fun. It's a main road, quite busy and uneven, as you can see. <coughs> and we getting away from this busy road, uh, taking uh, another tarmac road, but smaller and quieter to the left hand side. Uh, but it will last for I think two kilometers top and then we should be in the forest and and hills and so I hope for something better and still there's 14 kilometers to meter more 
and I'll just hike another hour or two after that and that would be me. That's handy. I have to film this because this is the wildest part of East Highland Way I hiked so far and it's and it's uh, and I hiked more than half so the views see the views amazing so I'm going now kind of cross country uh, uh, because apparently there is a change of the route uh, at, really, at least if I compare this to to the track from Walking Highlands but well I don't mind it makes it makes hike more interesting and to be honest I'll take it any time instead of roadblock. Can you see the scenery behind? Can't be better. After a short walk in the woodland, this area opens. This is almost exactly like West Highland Way. Amazing, really. And the weather is... The weather is amazing. It's a... It's a such a huge difference to Cambrian Way two weeks ago. Oh, by the way, it's funny how how I was trained on Cumbrian Way and now just crashing miles on this trail. It seems so easy. <laughs> uh, so I look like a retard, but at least I won't have sunburn. I have a choice. This bridge, which has the best years long ago, and river crossing. I think I'll go for river crossing there. The level of water is quite low, so it shouldn't be a problem. I have to say that uh, when I started walk, first, first its part was, eh, I was a bit of disappointed but I have to say that the, the closer the closer I am to Avimo the awesomeness of this trail increases it's really fantastic look at this and the sky it's Scotland. How cool is that? Now I have to walk over it. I'll try to do it while filming. Uh, Alright. I guess it may be an issue when it's rainy and wet, but in this weather it's just beautiful. How awesome it is! Alright, I just walked from the you know the tip of the forest through this grassy area and it's joining now this track which I'll be following for some time. I'm 
enjoying every minute of it. And when I was road walking, I checked my GPS every 10 minutes how far to the turn. But here, I don't even think about it. I just, I just want this moment to last. It's so great. And what's behind the corner? Stunning. Now walking along the stream and this is the path after stream crossing where it's easy to get lost. So, um, well, it's good to have a good map or, or it's me using GPS because it's, it's very helpful. As you can see that the track changed to, and it's uh, barely visible. Just a note, there's plenty of places to come here. So <clears throat> if you plan to come somewhere between Lagan and uh, Newton Moore, that's easily possible. So now I'm walking through the <clears throat> very damp section of the of the trail um, and you see the views are still amazing and uh, even some hikers behind me now they joined me but later they uh, they were just wandering somewhere uh, apparently they lost they lost their path uh, yeah, so so that's that's exactly confirms what I was saying that it's uh, in this section is very easy to get lost because the path is not clear and really you have to have some navigation skills or GPS and now how do I cross this? All right, speak to you later. I can see gate ahead of me. It means that most awesome part of the trail so far just comes to an end. Let's have a last look. Less than five kilometers to Newton more and possibly place for a camp. Nice grassy area and of course to share with sheep. The character of the surrounding change although maybe not the scenery. We are now in sheep area. If you're interested, there's a folk museum. It's still quite early, but experience of today tells me that it's basically too hard to hike. So, <clears throat> uh, what I decided is that last day, which is supposed to be fun as well, <laughs> supposed to be sunny as well. I'll start much earlier. I think maybe about four. So it doesn't mean that I won't hike in a sun, but at least I'll extend the the time when I hike when the heat is uh, yeah, well, bearable. So after Newton Moore, 
we've got this nice woodland to walk along the river I'm heavy breathing because it was short climb and I'm full with food and one liter of orange juice I drank in Newton Mar I'm following the wild cut trail and we are in the nice area again some cows of course haven't seen them in ship but we expect them the area where I thought I'll be camping Unfortunately, it's fenced, so I have to find something else. That's interesting change. <laughs> 